Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with, as always, another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in the extremely fun Blood Roots. Now this beat em up was developed and published by Paper Cult, and it's a remarkably good game for their first one. It's usually available for £16.74, but as of right now of recording, it's free to play if you have Xbox Game Pass. Can't beat a day one Game Pass game. Woo! So we play as Wolfman McGee, or just Wolfman, or just Short Angry Man for short, who, after being stabbed in the back by his maybe pals, we end up going on this mega roid rage, tearing through enemies to get to who we actually need. Now the best thing about this game is, it has cheats, which do enable some, but they do disable other achievements, but I will get more onto that in just a little bit. It is a, it's generally great fun, and we can get it done in around two hours or so. Note that there is only sort of one potentially tricky achievement, and that's for scoring a million points, but we will leave that for the very end of the game, as, just trust me, you won't be getting it at the very beginning. I tried a lot, and the closest I got was 926,000, so miles off. So, anyway, with that being said then, let's begin. So we start off then with the prologue, press any button, where's the any key, where's the any button? And what we need to do then, what you'll see is a uh, short angry man, maybe we'll just call him Sag for short. Yeah, Sag will do. So here we see Sag, and a little bit of credit's going to happen, and then we will uh, be able to just start running to the right. Here we go. Are you ready? Okay, let's do this then. So, we it's a pretty uh, prolific snowstorm right now. Uh, but what we're going to do is just go through one town called Tarry Town. Tiddy Tarry Town. The town that titillated all the Titmagonies. Or Tong Tiddly whatever. Anyway, just keep running. <laughs> Ignore me. What the hell? I'm already on one. Nice. So, here's Tar Tarrytown then. So you press the B button to pick up items, and you use the X button to hit people with them. Um, so that's pretty much a, a the theme of the game. Um, the A button you'll need to press to interact with things like barrels, if you want to roll on barrels, etc. But it is mainly the B button to pick up, the X button to whack. As you can see, I'm getting a lot of practice in already. Hey, 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 hey. So, there's only one path to go, and that is up for the moment, and then the, I can't think of the word, the stab in the back is going to happen. What is the word? I'm going to sound really stupid, so I'm not going to say anything. Just watch the cutscene. Well, goddamn! So, two things. Did you see the the big guy on the right? He's not shy from a couple of McDonald's a day, is he? To be fair, uh, he looks like he would chow me down in one. And also, oh my god, he just chopped my dick off, man! Oh my god, my testy clays! But apparently, uh, that actually didn't happen. All the blood rushed back to where our thing got chopped off, and we're good to go. So, from the log, we're just going to go to the right. Basically, this is the little hub area. Nothing a lot happens. But, what we are going to be doing is playing this level for the next sort of 15 minutes or so, getting various achievements. So, first things first, what we're going to do, pick up the axe again with the B button, kill these first two guys, and then run back. 
There are two boxes just here on the left hand side, so we're going to hide behind them for the time being. And we're going to get our first achievement called Marco Polo. And that is basically for searching for the last enemy of the area. So you can get this later on if you wanted, but I managed to just get it out now. And then die. Just go up to an enemy, he'll kill you, and that will be two achievements in no time at all. That's for dying at the last hands of the, of the last enemy in an area. So that should be two achievements already. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to grind out a little bit. Basically what we need to do now is die 50 times and die 100 times in a single room. So if you die a whole bunch and then go over to the next room, it actually voids the achievement. So what we're going to do, just to get them out of the way, we're just going to get punched. I mean, literally that looks like an incredible, um, violently death punch. But that's what... <laughs> We're going to be doing this a hundred times. Of course, I've uh, edited the video down just a little bit, just to save uh, a bit of time. Um, but you get your noggin punched in incredibly much until we get both achievements for dying 50 times and dying 100 times. So that will net you four achievements then in roughly around 10 minutes or so. Uh, like I said, I was going to do it later on, but it's just better to get it out of the way now so you're not thinking about it. So yes, we will be playing Act 1 Level 1 a lot of times, um, around 15 minutes or so. But for the next achievement then, press the pause button, go down to assist and turn the invincibility mode on. I actually forget to do it here for some reason. But make sure to turn invincibility on, um, because that will be fine for the achievement. Now, with the achievement that we're getting... When you pick up uh, weapons, as you can see there, cabbage, it's got one... one it's just one cabbage. Basically means one hit. So when you hit an enemy with it, um, the, the weapon goes away. Now what we need to do is kill every enemy in a level with just these one hit weapons. So it can always be the same. So you can just kill people with posts, carrots, cabbages, um, absolutely anything like that. As long as it's only got one hit on it. Like I said, as you can see there, the carrot. Um, and it will avoid the achievement if... You use axes, hatchets, basically anything that you can use the same weapon three times, um, that will avoid the achievement. So as long as you're only picking up these one-hit item, uh, one-hit weapons, like I said, such as carrots, cabbages, posts, um, or whatever, anything like that, then you should be fine. If you do end up picking up like an axe or a hatchet or something, just press the B button again just to drop it. Um, otherwise, you should be good to go. Don't stand on this wheelbarrow right here. Go past... Go past it on the left, because what that will do is kill two enemies at the same time, and that will also avoid the achievement. So you need to be killing every enemy with a different weapon. So if you accidentally kill two enemies with the same weapon, that will also avoid the achievement. So just keep blasting through here. We'll get used to this level. This is obviously the easiest level in the game. I kept dying at that guy, which hopefully you shouldn't have, because you've got the invincibility mode on. Hopefully. Uh, which I should have showed you, and <laughs> for some reason I made my life a lot more difficult by not putting the invincibility on. So make sure you put the invincibility mode on, and then we're good to go. So yeah, just again, avoiding... You can pick up tables, tables are fine to hit, posts, anything like that. Just as long as it's not an actual weapon that you can use more than once. So, hopefully, um, I've <laughs> hopefully you know exactly what you're doing, sort of, now. I think I explained that about... 26 bazillion times there. Uh, so we are coming up to the final area. Now, like I said, with invincibility on, obviously you do not have to worry about a thing. All you need to be wor worrying about is just picking up the one hit item. Tables, vases, pretty, <laughs> a lot of violent ways to die in this game. It is fantastic. So as you can see there, I just picked up the wheel, but we can use that more than once. So again, pressing the B button, I dropped it, picked up a delicious looking carrot. And I bet one farmer is absolutely pissed off right now. But carrots, man! So again, just be careful. Uh, not to pick up anything. Not to pick up the axe or the sword. Anything like that. One hit. One hit weapons are all we need. And again, we need to be killing every different enemy. So just make sure not to kill two of the same enemies with the same weapon. Whatever that may be. So stick a log in his head. Chuck a vase at this dude. You can pick up a chair. P -p 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 pick up a chair, Gwyn. <laughs> chair, Gwyn. Penguin, get it? No? Okay, well, that's fantastic. Uh, there we go. So jump over. We can jump on mostly 
anything in this game, to be honest, to get to certain places. You can use fish as well. That will um, be an achievement for later on for killing 100 enemies with fish. And there's also ones for carrot, um, killing 100 enemies with a carrot as well. But again, we'll just come to that a little bit later on. We won't grind them until the end of the game because we can get them done within 5 to 10 minutes. But now we are just coming up to the end of the level. So... Obviously, with invincibility, you could have just picked up the tables and vases there, but because I don't have it on, me being King Mong today, I, um, <laughs> don't pick up the, god damn it, get rid of the axe. There we go, so, <laughs> we just about get there in the end, but, like I said, if you've done that correctly, killed every different enemy, killed every enemy in the level with a completely different weapon, one hit weapons, you will get the achievement, the spoils of life. Which, if you're from certain parts of the world, we're talking about a different kind of spice. Not the one that'll get you messed up. Okay? We're talking about achievements, bruh. So, what we're going to do now is just replay the level. Obviously, pressing and holding the B button there. And now what we're going to do is use the other cheat. So, again, down to options. Down to assist options. <laughs> again, hopefully you would have put uh, invincibility on by now. Basically, this is just telling you it's supposed to be a challenging game, which is bloody... It, it, w it would have been legit. But what we're going to do then is go to invincible mode. Every time you get to an area where it says clear the area or kill or anything, go down to assist options and then choose clear area. That will get rid of all the enemies in the area. And as you can see, the combo at the left-hand side there, that will keep on going as well. Um, so again, we're just going to clear every single area. And the reason why this one is the easiest is because there's only four areas to do. Um, but we are going to be doing the combo maker achievement as well, which is easier at the end of the game. But I'll explain that once again in just a little bit. So again, we get to the next area. We're going to clear area. All right, clear area, clear area, clear area. And then we can just nip to the uh, next area. Also, you can just you could have probably just seen the arrow there. Every time you clear the area, the screen goes up and an arrow points you in the general direction. So again, clear the area, that completes the mission. Now what this should get you is the politeness of kings, and that's for getting perfect timing on half the kills of a level. If not, um, that's honestly fine. There are a couple of levels later on you'll get this probably without even trying, uh, but a lot of these miscellaneous ones I just wanted to get out of the way first. So there we go then, that is the politeness of kings. Now what we are going for is the Combo maker. Now, as I said earlier, it's probably easier to get this at the end of the game when you're going for the 1 million points. But what we need to do is quickly kill enemies. You don't have to worry about anything, but every time you finish an area, like I said, the combo stops until you get to the next area. So you have to be quick again as soon as you get to the next area. Just be quick. Pick up any weapon. You don't even have to pick up a weapon. You can just punch everyone to death, and that's also fine. Um, if the combo disappears or anything, you can literally just press the pause button and choose restart area and your combo is still there and the uh, enemies reappear. So if you're struggling with a certain area or a certain section, you can just click restart area fine. Um, but obviously this is just going to be us being um, very fast. As you can see, I died there because I did unlock an achievement for killing 25 enemies with a hatchet. Um, but as you can see... The, as soon as you restart the area, the combo remains. So again, you'll just have to be quick just to fudge these guys up. And there we go. So job will be done. So if you want to roll onto a barrel, just press the A button, I believe, next to it. So, sorry if I got that wrong. And you can roll it into a fire, roll it, or you can just roll it in anyone's general direction. So there we go then. So, yeah. So if you want to be doing this, you need to have 22 um, on this third area. Uh, if you haven't got 22, then you'll obviously have to just restart the level. Um, but like I said, this did obviously take me a lot of retrain of the areas. Um, but like I said, it's probably easier if you leave it to the end of the game. And here we go, I'll just get the ones for 50 hatchets as well. Uh, but like I said, it's probably easier to leave this until the end of the game where you've got the upgrade, you've got a hat. Um, and it just makes things a lot easier as you go for the 1 million points as well. Um, but if not, of course, you can just keep on doing this. 
Um, but basically just skip to about 15 minutes and 30 if you don't want to do this. Probably should have told you at the beginning, but that's also fan, right? <laughs> there we go then. So I just about managed to get that. Um, yeah, that that was more annoying. I, I def Apologies for doing it now. I probably should have left it for the end of the game. Um, but there we go. That That is just... If you wanted to do it now. Obviously as we're going for the 1 million points. You'll see me get the max combo as well. So again it really makes no difference. If you want to do it later. Or if it, if you're struggling a bit much now. More than happy to do it later. I will show you again anyway. So now what we're going to do. We are doing this just I believe. One more time. Yes just one more time. And this is for the achievement for getting a perfect score for mobility in any level. So, Which basically means you cannot stop. So literally just keep going. Doesn't matter about the combo uh, if you don't get a complete combo. But all we need to do is just keep on moving. Again, this is one that you can probably get um, later on as well with the upgraded hat. Or the, the deer hat is the main one that we'll be going with. Um, or you might again just unlock it as naturally as uh, pissing in a pie. Piss pie. My favourite pie. Uh, but that's all you got to do then is just for this one. Just keep keep on moving. I got to keep on rolling. Moving. Moving. Moving in the river. Killing people. Because my name is Sag. I'm not a slag. Do, 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 do. Okay, so shut up. But you know, this obviously um, gets you really used to the game by now. So obviously, as you could probably tell as well, the more I've played this level, the more I've played the game, the confidence grows, which it should hopefully do for you as well. But like I said, the combo maker and this one, you can just wait till later if you wanted to. There's no rush for you to get it now, um, which I just got it now to sort of... Get it, not only get it out of the way, but to sort of show you that it can be done without the upgrades if you wanted to just get them out of the way as well. So, there we go, we've got that one. And that should now be that. But, <laughs> what we are going to do, um, and apologies for this, while we were going for the miscellaneous achievements there, where are we at now? 17 minutes? So, yeah, it's taking us about 15 minutes. Um, not regarding the intro there, but we're just going to play half of this level. Basically, what I forgot to mention as well, sorry, there's so much going on in this game. Uh, but there are 15 wolves overall uh, as a collectible. Uh, there's just basically one in each level, and we obviously need to collect them to get achievement. So, again, we're just going to clear the area now. There's no pressure. As long as your invincibility is on, that should be good, and we can just clear the area. Um, some of these wolves are in sort of hard to reach ish places. Others are a bit easier, but of course I'll be going through every single one. Just to not let you down, baby. Not let you down. God, my God, I should be a singer now. Come on, YouTube, make me famous. Um, anyway, so if you go, uh, chop down this tree right here, chop down the next one. This is in the third area, by the way, and the wolf will be on top. And we should get our first achievement, or our first wolf-related achievement, out of two. And that is for collecting our first wolf. Now, if you do just go ahead and collect a wolf, but you've already completed the level, you can actually just leave the level. Sure, that is what we're going to do. So, once you collect the wolf, then uh, leave the level, and then we can actually move on now to the second level of the game. Oh my god, I need a breather. So... Like I said, we can just um, move up. A uh, little bit of editing there because I've done a whole lot of stupid stuff. So I've tried editing it in a nice way. So what we can do, as soon as you see again the remove the threat or kill or whatever the, the dialogue is there, we can just go straight to assist options. Go ahead and clear the area. Um, obviously, like I said, there is a wolf in every level. So don't fast forward too much. We need to be looking out for that wolf. Now, if you want to dash across, you press the A and then the X button. Uh, as long as you've got a sword or something like that, pressing the A and the X button, that will make you fly forward like so. And this is where the next uh, wolf is, by the way. So it's in the second area right here. So we just clear all area. And then if we, um, just across the gap, cut down the tree. And then once again, we're going to need to dash across. Find the wolf. That it will be wolf 2 out of 15, honey. 
So congratulations, yeah, babe. And then with that, we can just move on and basically end the level. And like I said, that is what we'll be doing a lot through the game. Now that we've got a lot of these miscellaneous achievements out of the way, by the way, just press the A button there to jump far with the paddle. Um, yeah, so again, anytime I get to a new area, I clear all of the area. Um, there are only three achievements as well with weapon-related kills, um, but again, they are a very easy grind later, so unless you want to do one, basically we've got to set 500 enemies on fire, kill 100 with enemies and 100 with fish. So if you want to do that, if you see some fish or some carrots or whatever, be my guest, but there is a nice grindy spot for everything a little bit later on at the end of the game, which only takes about 10 minutes or so. So, there we go then, that is mission 2 complete. It is quite a fast paced game as well, so I do try and go sort of as slow as I can, but also quite fast that we're not uh, going so slow that we're going backwards. Um, right, so with that then, you should also unlock the bear hat as well. Um, now, we, we unlock a whole bunch of hats through the game, but again, it's only the deer one, which is the most important because it's the one that is any good. Um, so there we go, we've got a nice little bear hat we can wear. I'm sure we got a bear or something. Or maybe that's just my grandpa's pubes. Maybe that's just grandpa's pubes on our head. Who knows? Anyway, so we're on to Act 1, Level 3. Now, there's normally five levels in an act with a boss level at the end of it as well. So, again, what we're going to just do is clear area. Clear area. And you just look for the mega arrow, which tells us where to go. Uh, obviously, as long as you've got your invincibility on as well, no spikes or anything can hurt you. So just head down for the time being. And we're going to be party hard, party hard, party, party, party hard. Now, these enemies, genuinely, this would be such a tough game to beat legit. Uh, some of these enemies are incredible and ve quite very difficult. But, you know, cheats always come in our hand. Uh, Cheats are always come in handy, and to be honest, I, I've got to give props to Paper Cult as well, because it gives players a choice of what they want to play, rather than, this is difficult, if you don't want to play it, then screw you guys. It's literally like, if you're not that good at it, turn invincibility on, you can still enjoy the game that way. Kudos to you, Paper Cult. So here's the next wolf as well. Again, this is the third area. Before jumping over the gap on the right, um, just head on to this barrel. You need to roll up, and then what you're supposed to do is roll up onto the spikes, and over the wall, there we go. That is where wolf number three is. Again, that may take a couple of attempts to do, um, because sometimes you may fall off, sometimes you may just not make it at all. Um, so if you, by the way, again, just restart the area then. If you've run out of barrels or run out of something to get up to a ledge or anything, just restart the area and everything restocks. So, uh, don't do what I did right there. Don't know what the hell I was doing. Um, again, apologies if the commentary is quite fast-paced as well. Everything's just happening all at once, and I'm remembering things as I go, which is probably not, not, not the best strategy or solution, but it's how we do. And I hope that you are still have fun with game. No? And I do hope still that I am now making not sense. Yes. So, clear area. And again, this is what we're doing. We're just following the arrow, baby. Uh, you can actually just punch that through. You don't actually need an axe. I, I, I don't think anyway, but it's what we do. We're hardcore. Old Mr. Sag. Sag the slit. Again, we're just going to clear the area. Um, like I said, if you want to get a couple of kills or anything, you know, generally be my guest. But just for this, this is just for the sake, This is because this is just an achievement guide. Uh, and for the sake of the video, I literally just, I'm trying to do things in the quickest way possible. And you know the drill, assist options, assist options, clear area. And that'll kill all of the enemies. Again, like I said, to be one-hitted, if this had no invincibility or clear area, then god damn it, she would be hard. But, you know, again, Paper Cult, uh, done everyone a solid, I think, there. Because it's definitely worth playing the game legit without cheats. 
And then for achievements, it's probably worth uh, whacking the cheats on. So, here we go then. Here is Mr. Shamu. <laughs> well, actually, this is Da Bomb. And once again, we've had a, we've had our genitalia cut off, and now we've just been exploded. So, <laughs> going well so far. Yes. Well done. <laughs> So every time you collect the wolf as well, you can see the wolf icon has been collected. If you haven't collected it in the level, um, if you you can go to replay chapter and it'll tell you which ones you've missed. Anyway, um, again, a little bit later on, so I'll show you that. But you'll be able to tell which ones that you've collected and not collected in Am's level. Here we go then. Act 1, level 4. Hoof and poof. Huff and puff kind of sounds like a very good jam. Oops. And I got fudged up and I'll tell you why. Because I forgot to put invincibility back on. And so it's definitely always worth just checking. Especially if you um, quit out of the game. That is why my invincibility turned off. I completely quit out. And that is why that happened. So, like I said, a lot of the time through these areas, it's a case of, as I've said already, we're going to use the clear area option, follow the arrow where we're going, and then um, obviously we're going to grab the wolf on the way again there's only one wolf per level so don't get too far ahead of yourself just wipe him out mate Now a lot of these areas are quite short, um, I'll only really explain something if the level is a bit harder, but generally they're quite short, easy to find your way. So, this is the area where we find the wolf then, this little lovely delicious little patio bit or whatever it is. So make sure that you've got a paddle, like there, there's a paddle there if you need one, so jump up. And then jump to the left, instead of going straight to the right, you need to jump over to the left and this is where the next wolf is. Wolf number 4 out of 15, that one is good, and then we can just jump straight to the right to continue our way. I mean, how hardcore is SAG that you can just jump a mega distance with a little paddle? That's pretty manly, bro. Puts hairs on your chest. Puts hairs in your balls. That's why I probably don't have any. I am not a man! But if you're not a man and you'd like to be, how about get this axe, clear the area, because, you know, we've, we've done all the, the hard work there, and destroy Mr. Boar's house. Nothing says I'm more of a man than destroying someone's house with a golden axe. <sighs> you know what I mean? So, that's all you got to do. Keep taking your swings at it, smash it up. Jobs a good one. And boy, is Mr. Piggy Shamu Man going to be pissed off. Which I would be, looks like a nice little house. Ah, oh, poor Mr. Boar, he only went shopping and seen his house destroyed. <laughs> Hilarious. So we should also get the Keeper of the, uh, what the hell is that? Keeper of the Deep for unlocking the fish hat. Um, so there's that <laughs> achievement there. Yeah, Mr. Boar is pretty pissed off. Imagine thinking around, you're going to the shops, get a couple of oranges, have a nice little fruit salad, because boy, he needs it. Probably stop off at KFC on the way as well. Maybe a McDonald's and a Burger King. Or maybe a Wendy's, you know, if, if I assume it's American. Um, to find that somebody have destroyed your house. So, we're going to get another achievement now, and this is for not using any weapons in a whole level. So, don't pick up any weapons, just punch all the dummies. So, head to the left, we're going to head to the right now, so just... Press the X button, of course, to use uh, to punch. Don't pick up any weapons. Head down. It's only a short area as well. Uh, so just... <laughs> I almost messed that one up. So head onto the houses. 
and then just keep going down and this should be the last one now on the right and the last one's on the bridge, actually. So, again, very short area. The time is very generous. But just do not use weapons at all. And that will get us the show-off achievement. Definitely the easiest bonus level to do that in. Um, the, rest are, the rest are easy enough. But that was definitely the, the easiest one. Uh, just because of how short and small the map is. I thought the game called me a full whore then. <laughs> I was going to say, screw you, guys. But full bore, which... I don't know, tell you what, could do with a nice full ball roasting on that campfire right there. <laughs> Delishimundo. Right then, so what we are going to do now, we're just going to, again, it's just the same sort of thing. So as soon as we get to the first area, we're going to clear area. Um, with these cannons, press the B button to jump on it, and then press the A button. And that will shoot you up, and then of course you've got to move the you move yourself with the directional stick to wherever you'd like to go. Spikes, spikes don't hurt us. We are too manly for that. Slash invincibility, slash more manly than invincibility. Same thing. Press the B button, A button to jump. Use directional stick to get to where you need to go. So this is where the game starts getting potentially confusing as to where to go. But again, it's not 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 too shabby. Uh, but this is the area, this is the level that we're going to come back to at the end of the game to get the 100, um, 100 ki uh, enemy kills with fish. Because uh, we are going to come up to an enemy now where there's just a ton of fish everywhere. There's about 20, 22 enemies, so it literally takes about 10 minutes to do. Um, so, again, we're going to clear the area this time, though. We're not going to worry about the, the different kills. Jump up onto the cart of course pressing the a button and then just keep on heading straight down right this is where the wolf is then so go to the very slightly then go to the left uh, we're going to clear all the area first but do not jump down straight away what we're going to do is dive slightly to the left just go down this first waterfall pit and then go to the right in the middle and the wolf will be right here somewhere so that is a very very tricky one to find <laughs> so Congratulations, Paper Cult, because that would have been impossible to um, find legitimate. But, you know, since this is a guide and, you know, I'm all cool and I'd help you out, I'll tell you where it is. Uh, other than that, it is just another case of run, rabbit, run. Try not to die by being invincible, oh yeah. Etc, etc. Eradicate baby Now they're cracking in the pressure from our heart Cause we don't belong here Anyway we've completed all of Act 1's levels now Now basically we've got the um <laughs> He's is he supposed to be <gasps> It's Man Bear Pig Oh my god Bad Bear Pig I'm super serial nobody takes me serial Again, hopefully any South Park fans watching will get that reference. Um, I'm hoping. So when we continue then, we go into this little area where Mr. Man Bear Pig, should have called him that from the start, has destroyed villages. Destroyed! Probably because we destroyed his house when all he wanted was a little fat KFC, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King banquet. But he's pissed off at us for that. I'm trying to assume I, I can't blame him. I'd be pretty riled up as well. So, we can't clear the area or anything, we basically just have to do this bit, and like I said, once again, legitimately, this would be a son of a bitch. The, the bosses would be a bitch to beat. Mr. Madbar Pug, with the gold tooth, or brown tooth, clean your teeth. So, obviously he's not going to run, he's obviously going to go on his little uh, contraption right here. So, make sure that, again, invincibility is on, because we'll be doing a lot of dodging. A pig and shit! Yeah. Very funny. 
So all we need to do is basically just chase the boss up. Obviously what we're going to get is a lot of enemies that come towards us. Now if you don't have your hatchet kills, um, obviously you see me unlock 50 earlier. Um, this is a very good opportunity to do them here. And we get a lot of hatchets and a lot of enemies. So as soon as you, you can either run past the enemies, but I do advise getting your hatchet kills. This is the hatchet right here. Uh, just basically get these done um, as quick as you can. Again, if not, we can just grind them at the end of the game. You can just literally do it on the first level. But for now, chop down the tree. You're going to have to chop down the tree, sorry, Hon. So get the hatchet <laughs> and climb up. So this is where I get my 100 again. You may get this earlier or a little bit later than me. Um, but again, there is there are grinding spots, as I said. So don't worry too much about it. So, Mr. Pigman, somehow... I mean, that's a lot of enemies in that bucket he's got right there. Hey, bro, you got a snack? I'm a little, I'm a little piggish. So, what we're doing is chasing him, of course. Invincibility makes this a breeze. Every time he stops and slows down there, just give him a shot or a hit. Um, as quick, quick as he can. I'm not sure if he um, actually just goes away. But, you know, better to, better to just be quick about it, isn't it? Uh, so again, if you can grab a hatchet, grab a hatchet. If not, you can just run past enemies or kill them with whatever you'd like. Now, of course, that is what you're supposed to do with the barrel uh, to get rid of the spikes. But again, invincibility, bro. Remember, just press the A and the X button if you would like to jump and dash across. Or pick up a paddle as well, pressing the A button. Hopefully, the, these weapons you would have got used to a bit quickly by now as well. Um, if not, there's always time. So he's broken down again. Give him a little whack. Square on his little, I assume little testes. He doesn't look like he'd have a big weenus size in all fairness. But then again, I've been surprised. I've been surprised before. Not that I've looked at any myself, of course. <laughs> oh, that would be silly. Uh, so again, just uh, watch out, watch out for the gaps. Um, only, only jump across this, the sort of small ones. Uh, you could have just jumped in that hay bale if you just wanted to go, go across there. But generally, like I said, thanks to the invincibility cheat, it makes these boss modes a crap ton easy. There's the third hit. And now what we can do is actually go and pick up his own weapon and use it against him. So, up oh, there it is. Oh, Jesus Christ, you were flying for a long time, weren't you? Ah, oh, he's like a turtle on his back. <laughs> Fed bastard can't get up. So pick it up again, obviously using the B button, and then simply press the X button as soon as he he generally crawled faster than he walked there. Eh? I suppose if you got a death ray at you though, you're probably gonna crawl faster as shit balls. Gibby Jeez, that's a way to go. So, you should unlock two achievements right here. Bringing home the bacon. Mmm. Bacon. Ha oh, ha oh, oh. And yes, I got the same size gut as Homer Simpson, so I'm allowed to say it. And then we should get the boar hat as well. And mate, he looks fuming to be a ghost. Which again, we destroyed his house and then killed him. But you try killing us first, so up your guts, mama man. You don't actually have to keep talking to him here. You can just press the B button there to go to sleep straight away. And then we can just go ahead. All that's in this area, by the way, is the hats on the left-hand side, which you can only use on a already played level. So if you replay a level, that's only when the hat will work. And the um, little shelter on the right-hand side was where you can find the levels to replay. Now, there is an achievement for... Completing any level in Act 2 in under three and a half minutes. Um, so I actually get it on the second level of this act. Um, but again, if you don't... It, it either Act... Level 1 or 2 in Act 2 is definitely the easiest to get them in. So if you don't get them in any of the first two, 
um, because obviously we, we'd be going for the wolf as well. So if you don't get it, literally just replay the chapter, replay one of these first two levels, and you should be golden nuggets, should be easy enough. So this is the area where the wolf is again. So head down instead of right, dash across, of course, pressing the A and X button, B on the cannon, A to shoot yourself up, and then land on this moving platform. Press the B button to pick up the sword, and then again, as soon as it gets to the other side, A, X, bam, dash yourself over there, and this is where the wolf is. Again, literally every time I try to go for the wolf, I died at least once, so don't panic if it does keep happening to you. It happened to me a shy ton. Oh, like that one there. But we've already collected the wolf, so it doesn't matter if you die, the collectible stays collectible, it did, it did. Which is what I like in a game. I hate those games that if you die, you've got to collect all the collectibles again. Those games can suck it. So, all we're doing again, again, we're just following. This is a pretty linear path at this point. So, it is just cannon related getting yourself up. I wonder if you've got like a, a burnt ass from being shot by cannons all the time. Then again, we are running through spikes and getting destroyed in every single way without dying because, of course, we have. Do I mean, don't have invincible mode on, do we? We are doing this legitimate. Wink, wink. <laughs> so, yeah, just just <laughs> keep on flying, honeys. Up and up, up and at them. Come on, surely four cannons in a row and you don't at least have a slight little headache. Then again, like I said, we've had our genitals mutilated and we've um, sucked blood back into our body and we've been blown up and everything, so... You know what? Mr. Sag, you are pretty manly. And here is the second boss, but of course we're not going to be fighting her until the sixth level. But we have completed this one, so now we can move on. Man, Man Bear Pig is looking more pissed off every time we look at him there. Again, understandable, he is a ghost. Bad Bear Pig. Oh, no more taste with cereal. Act 2-2, two, two, will there be blood? My assumption is probably. Um, but then again, this level could be uh, different. Go to options, of course. Obviously, we're going to clear area. Now, at the end of the game, this is the level that... We are going to get the uh, set 500 enemies on fire. And I will show you exactly which area when we come to it. It's a great little area with a load of matches which looks like big torches. Uh, so for now we're just going to head to the left. Here is a new enemy in the game. But of course, thanks to um, Paper Cult's non-cheating, absolutely, totally legitimate-ness, uh, we don't have to worry about them. Eliminate. Exterminate. Masturbate! No, don't do that last thing. Not now. This is very serious moments. 
So, obviously, that guy, he, he was going to bring a big claw hammer down in your head, but, of course, clear area. Uh, the totally legitimate way, that is what we do. So, just follow the road down. It may look potentially confusing first, but just go towards the left. I don't think even we needed to do that whole spin um, up and down the bridge I just did there. So, uh, sorry about that. But some of these areas, especially towards the la latter of the game, can get a little bit confusing as to where to go. But again, generally not too difficult. So, just keep moving forward for the time being. We are going to be coming up to Wolfman area very shortly. Uh, so, we're just going to slice and dice our way through by clearing the area without actually doing any slicing and dicing. That's how manly we are, aren't we, Sag? Fly! Now this is the now these are the areas that we're going to be getting the 500 enemies. Uh, you see the the things in the middle there. They're basically torches, and um, when you move across or when you attack, it set it basically sets the floor on fire. So fire floor equals enemy running into it equals pure death, and more achievements for us. So from here we're going to be going to the left where the arrow is, but head towards the right next to the tree. And sort of onto the grass right there. Do not go to the left here. Go to the right. Head up the ladder. And then uh, uh, make sure to bring this ladder up as well by pressing the B button. Uh, gently go across the edge right there. And then press the B button again. And then we can now just climb up it. Collect this wolf. And that is job done. So th th again that one is very easy. As long as you just grab the ladder up. Um, we should be good to go. So I again I've messed about quite a bit in this level. But this is where I do unlock the achievement for completing any level in Act 2 in under three and a half minutes. Um, so, again, like I said, if you don't get it this time, just replay the chapter and quickly get it, since you don't have to mess around with the wolf as well, now that you've just collected the boy. So run, run as fast as you can. You cannot catch me. I'm the Sag Man. Also, I'm Ginger. Ah, uh, yeah, she must be American there. She's uh, sabotaging tankers for oil. Oh! <laughs> just joking, America. Please don't hate me. Please love me. That was just a slight little... <laughs> slight little America loves oil joke, you know? <laughs> wink, wink. So, there we go, then. I get the Meep Meep achievement. Um, again, like I said, if you don't get it at this point the same time as me, uh, also unlock the Deer Hat as well and get that achievement, which is the best in the game, uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, but yeah, if you don't get the Meet Meep achievement again, just simply replay that second level again. You should know, uh, you should have a sort of memory uh, in your path where the enemies are, etc, etc. Plus you don't have to collect the wolf the second time through, uh, so it should be a little bit easier. Uh, with this bonus level, this time we are just going to completely ignore it. As soon as you see the dialogue there, uh, just go ahead, clear all the area, and that will be that mission complete. Also, with the deer hat, basically... What it does is helps us to double jump. Now, it may not seem like much, but trust me, it comes in incredible handy um, for when we go for the 1 million points slash combo maker if you didn't get the combo maker achievement already. So, we'll wait for that a little bit later on. I am actually going to wear the hat because, well, after being mutilated in so many ways, my hat's a bit stinky now. So, we're going to get a new one. Hello, Mr. Manbarapag. Oh, but it takes me thrill. Uh... Yeah, check the deer hat on, and then we can go into Vel El Mein Schnafto. <laughs> so, hello there. We have some new enemy types that we don't care about because we are... Invincible at being so good at this game that we don't actually need to worry about them um, <laughs> But this is another good area for the setting 500 enemies on fire uh, Achievement as well There's plenty of red barrels about basically they explode and every time an enemy uh, runs into another one on fire That catches that enemy on fire plenty of fireworks as well um, and plenty lots of other Nice fiery stuff about if you collect this skull by the way pressing the X button makes you dash Dash boy, dash! 
But of course, like I said, those Kales achievements we're getting at the end of the game. Don't know if I explained that already. Probably explained it about a billion times. Um, so for the time being then, we know where the arrow is. <laughs> so that is where we're going. Jump across and ouch my bum hole! I'm not supposed to get spikes in it or anything in it. So here then just keep going right. Um I ac I accidentally um jump up here, but there's nothing of note up here. As you can see, I can now see the arrow and it tells me to go right, so that is just the way that we need to go there. <laughs> you shilly bum. So here is the area with the wolf then, um, again if you're a bit confused just look for the same environment I have right here so we're just going to basically head towards the uh, back of the area, um, just keep heading towards the back uh, until you get to these sort of oil thing on the left there and we can jump our way up with a firework again pressing the A button Now this one can be potentially tricky you need to get the ladder and press the B button to place it against the wall now press the B button to pick up the barrel and again the B button to put it down nice and gently job done now what you're supposed to do is go and get yourself some fireworks there we go now press the A button to jump onto the barrel and then what you're supposed to do is press the A button and then <laughs> And then press the A button again a couple of times to get the firework up. For some reason, mine exploded straight away. Luckily, we've got one barrel left. If all the barrels explode, obviously just restart the area and do this bit again. So, place the barrel nice and gently down. Grab yourself a firework. And then again, press the A button to jump on. Press the A button again. And then hopefully, there we go. Press the A button a couple of times when you've exploded. Um, without hopefully dropping the firework like I did, like a stupid man, you stupid sag. And that will be the next wolf done and dusted. Then we can just head to the right, pick up this gun if you want to. I don't know, I just like the look of the gun. Looks like a, one of those old timey death machines where you've got to, you know, I can't hear you, buddy. Right then, so we've got one more little bit to do in this area. Again, with invincibility on, it's fine, but basically we just need to avoid the spikes, as it were. So don't keep spamming the A button, because if you go actually, you can actually go through the wall, but you'll end up dying and you'll just have to replay this little section again. So that's all there is to it then. Obviously, you're invincible, you're hardcore. Even without invincibility, this bit is, is pretty solid. It's not too bad. So, as soon as you get to the end of this section, a little bit more dialogue is going to happen, and we have finished this level. Who wants to do an Assassin's Creed leap of faith? Oh crap, he died. Oh no, we didn't because we got the unlimited firework right there. <laughs> Look at Sag's face. He looks focused. But there we go then. That is that level complete. Now it's just a case of, you know, moving on and doing the next one. <laughs> 
My fat ass thought that said bringing up bacon then. I was very devastated and not at all pleased. I want some bacon. And welcome then to Act 2, Level 4. So we've got one more level after this, and then the boss fight, and then Act 3 to do. And a couple of others left to do. So, of course, make sure you're invincible. Make sure that you clear clear area. And we will be getting the wolf a lot sooner than we realise this time. So, again, I mean, these levels are... To, to play legit would be fantastic and devastating and very frustrating. <laughs> But, like I said, thanks to clear area, um, clearing the area, <laughs> uh, very pretty lights, but we are going to be getting the wolf pretty much immediately. So you head to the sort of bottom of the screen here, to the right, and then just dash over to this next bit, of course, using the A and the X button. Dash very carefully over to the spikes, of course, make sure you've got your invincible mode on. Dash over, and what it should do is pr um, boost you up. Um, and then what you're supposed to do is roll the barrel to the cliff, which this wolf is on right here. I got kind of lucky with the, uh, with that one. So, but that is what you're actually meant to do then. Dash yourself over um, and roll yourself up, basically. So, otherwise, it's going to be a, another easy time of clearing the area. And moving on. Living the dream. Getting easy achievements the <laughs> cheating way. My favorite. <laughs> now, of course, in this area, of course, just be careful. You can actually fall through these, uh, you know decimating bloody platforms uh, so just make sure not to fall through otherwise with invincible mode that one is a piece of PS obviously because you'd be pissed off if you had invincible mode on and you still managed to die by an enemy's hand again like I said legit this would be a, <laughs> I've said it before but it would be a very tough game to complete um, so yeah but since that's not the case uh, here is an actual perfect that that was actually a perfect opportunity to get some fire kills just there but uh, I chose not to because I'm a dong There we go, mission complete. We now get the dog hat as well. So that is the next achievement that you should be unlocking. The Gentle Giant, or the Gentle Giant. Nobody says Gentle Giant, that's fine. <laughs> I was just being silly. Uh, but yeah, now we can just swiftly move on to the, ah oh yeah, bonus level. Um, same thing as the last one then. You should already have, if you've been following the guide, you should already have the show off achievement for completing a level without using any weapons, so we can just clean your area, and this completes this one, and then we can just move on to 2, Act 2, Level 5. And here's another perfect opportunity to get some fire kills. Remember, we need to set 500 enemies on fire uh, throughout the entirety of the game. So, with this big fire stick, <laughs> you can... And there are some explosive barrels and stuff as well. They all count as long as the enemy dies by fire, like so. Um, but this is a perfect opportunity to get some fire kills. And it's a great place to grind a little bit later on as well, if you wanted to do that. 
So, you know, just uh, uh, just keep your options open there. I actually go to Act 2, Level 2 to finish the fire ones off, but... Oh, we're in a giant shoe. Hardcore, bro. The SAG doesn't do softcore, he only does hardcore. Which is why you see him in all the porn hubs. Right, so next area is Wolf Time. Now we need to butcher the enemies. Um, which we are, of course, going to do with the uh, clear area. Uh, so just go ahead and clear the area first then. And then what you need to do, see the red lone barrel in the middle of the screen right there? That is what we need to be jumping onto. Now, again, this may take a, a, a couple of tries. It did take me a couple of tries as well. Um, so jump on the red barrel. Of course, pressing the B button. Jump down and then move to the right of the building, and then that should give you enough momentum to jump up. Grab this uh, skull thing to the left, dash to the left there, past the spikes, and that is where the wolf is. So again, it may take you a couple of tries. Sometimes, with the uh, rolling barrels especially, it can be kind of finicky, it can be kind of squiff squiff. So sometimes it works out well, a lot of the time it didn't work out well for me, but, you know, once you got it, honey, you are all good. And the mission's complete -o. God, this... Whatever the hell that is. Bison. Oh, it's a bison, isn't it, of course. Bison looks pit F. Is that because I killed your bacon-headed friend? Yuck, yuck, yuck. Anyway, it is boss fight now. Uh, the bison is a little angry. Oh, you're letting me boss you around. Who's to say that I didn't like that? <laughs> wink, wink. But please don't shove things in my butt. It's an exit only, it's not an entrance. So, boss time now. And fairly, obviously, you know, we got invincible mode on, so it's easy enough anyway. But um, this one's a fairly easy boss fight, regardless. A lot of eyes, a lot of bison heading. <laughs> Don't be so angry, hon. Listen, if you want, if you want to come on a date with me, the actual sag himself, short angry guy, of course that stands for. Then that's all you got to do is ask on. So here we go. Then what we need to do is pick up the um, weapon from the back there, give her a stab, pick up another weapon, and throw it at her. And now what we need to do is pick up the bow from here, and then pick up the arrow a little bit further down, right on top of this platform, and then shoot it with the X button, of course. Pick up the next weapon, which is the pickaxe, and give these little uh, pillars a little whack of the doodahs. Did I say this could be legitimately quite easy? Uh, well, potentially not. Bow, give her a whack again. G uh, get the golden axe of life before using the pillars. If you do run out of energy or whatever, you can just punch her in the face. That always works. Same, same thing then. Destroy the pillars with the sword. And give her a punch in the old noggin. Gun, shoot the pillars. Because if you don't, she doesn't get hurt. Because video game logic is always like that. In terms of defense, um, <laughs> just again, uh, shoot. There's always a, there's always a couple of weapons, um, so you shouldn't run out before you destroy the pillars and etc. Grab the axe, destroy the pillars once a mower. Not some mower, sorry, I meant once more. Once a mower. And give her a whack, and that should be that. Now you can just kill her with her own weapon, and that is where she gets actually really angry, because, uh, you know. Oh, that bitch dead! You could actually walk towards her, by the way. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> well, I made it.
that is how we complete Act 2 and unlock the Bison Hat. So, now we can move on to uh, Act 3. And for some reason, in every later levels in any kind of video games, there always seems to be a bunch of ice levels. Personally, ice levels can suck it. I'm not its really biggest fan, thanks to Kato, to be honest. And if you haven't played that, it's on Game Pass and I've got a guide for it. Um, but those later levels are also infused with ice. And ice is bad. So we're going to be grabbing um, the Wolf Street away. Yes, just down on the right-hand side. Grab the fishing rod here. Jump over to the next side of the cliff. And there is the Wolf. Fairly easy, that one. A lot easier to get this time than previous ones. But apologies, I almost lost my head, forgot that Wolfie was here. So there we go, otherwise it is... I mean, it's as straightforward as clearing the area. So, at least we know how to do that by now, right? Okay, so we are coming up to uh, kind of a tricky part, actually. Basically, the wind is going to be blowing us to hell, and we've got to try and stay on the path. Um, again, obviously, keep your invincibility on so we can go through the spikes nice and easy, clearing the area, etc. But it is this part coming up. As soon as we start heading to the right, it starts picking up the wind, and you sort of lose quite a bit of control of your character. So uh, just try your best here. A couple of jumps that we need to be making first. Um, otherwise, it is pretty straightforward, to be honest. Now, I advise still jumping over these little gaps, but you can actually walk on some of them. Um, but don't try and risk which ones you can and can't walk over. <laughs> Just get to the other side, and honey, that is the first level of Act 3 done. We're getting close. We're getting closer. <gasps> oh my god, the angry owl witch. So when we get to this next area, do not clear the area just yet. We're going to be needing to use this big Pac-Man thing, go through the gate, and we actually need to jump across by using the uh, big bad bomber right there. So obviously it's uh, pressing the B button, X to use is fine, but if you clear the area, there are no enemies to latch onto, hence you cannot get over without doying. And doying is not good. So I assume.
So we've got Mr. Big Bad Wolf coming up in this area. So obviously, as we've been doing, we just clear area all the time. There's no reason for you to ever not clear the area unless I say. It's kind of slippy on this ice, but we're going to the right. So jump to the right and dash across. Uh, be careful again as it is quite slippy. And then just jump your way up. And there is the next wolf. So we've got... What's this? Sack 3 level... Two, so we've got three left after this then. Nice and tidy, mate. <laughs> oh my god, it's a bear. But he's a big friendly bear. He wants to give Sag a ride so we can slice and Flab it up, man. So that's what we're going to do. You can actually clear the area if you want, but you want to get to ride a bear and kill people once in this game, so we might as well make the most of it. So you should have unlocked the rabbit hat and the achievement courier of the woods and now we're going to get kind of a small little ass cutscene there as we remember where we got our genitals mutilated earlier okay now what you need to do is mash the a button to get up keep mashing the a button mashity mash 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 potatoes and snusages mash potatoes and liver and onions Okay, and then when we're up, we can just carry on walking forward for now. Nothing, uh, not a lot going on to be honest in these scenes. All we're going to keep doing is keep walking. There are no um, enemies to clear or anything, so you can unclear the area this time. So it does seem as if uh, Sag is starting to hallucinate a bit. Probably because he hasn't got all of his body parts, which are needed for good things. Anyway, this bonus level, we can once again just clear the area, complete the level. Uh, job done. They look like little Hitlers, which really you should be wanting to punch the crap out of, really. And on to the next one then. So, once again, we're going to clear the area. Uh, turn left here, because the wolf is in this very first area. Grab the fishing rod and jump over. Jump onto these spikes. Now, what you're supposed to do is actually grab the shield here, and then use it to break that fence with. Uh, for some reason, it kept failing on me, so I finally managed to do it. And, yeah. So, that's all you have to do is break, break the fence with the shield, and then you can jump back over with a fishing rod. Job is as good as a getting a, a rod on. And um, once again, it is literally just a case of you gotta move on, you gotta move out. Let's get to the end or something. Kale, my pretties, kale, kale. So getting this flamethrower, of course, is a perfect opportunity to get your. Uh, 500 enemies achievement as well, so just fire about the place, fire as many enemies as you can. Uh, it's always worth doing it when you um, see some fireworks or see some flamethrowers or something. Definitely always worth uh, getting some score towards that. Obviously with the 100 carrots and fish, they can get easily done in like 10 minutes, but when you're going to set 500 enemies on fire, it can be a little bit of a baconese piece of crap. Or in... 
normal people's terms, it can take a while. And then after the long old walk, we are finally getting to our owl lady. Hey, hotness, what's up? Hey! Where you going, honey? I just want to take you out on a date. Maybe a little hooting and a hollering. So here's the extremely weird bonus level, uh, so if we walk forward, all these houses are going to appear, walk back until we see uh, one big dummy in the way, so give that a smash. Now what you need to do is just walk through the dummies, and then the screen will go red. Now we're on the mega, we are tripping mega balls right now. Uh, now we just need to walk around finding a, a good couple of dummies to smash up before the screen goes red. You've actually got to hit these dummies, I believe, for it to go red. Uh, so, yeah, now she is getting wild. Or maybe this is just loss of blood from, you know, penis loss. Mutilated penis loss. Just to be fair, I think we'd, I think we'd all be in the same situation. So, we are just looking for one more dummy to hit. He's around here. It, it can be kind of hard and a bit tricky to see in the redness of deadness. But the dead guy is. Hit this guy on the left. A couple more are going to sprout up. Oh, as it turns out, there's only like one that sprouted up. Okay, so then we're good to go. <laughs> Look, even, even, when we, even when we run slow, it looks very funny. Back in the little old camps, I'd be like a bucket of rubber. What the hell am I on about, man? Time to finish level four. Two levels left, and then we got the boss, and then we got a couple of achievements to go. That is where Sag Old Man had his picnic. Yes, I've lost my head by now, but that is nice and cute. And like I said, you've heard it all before anyway, so it should be less surprising. So we're going through a bit of creepy bit of graveyardness now. Um, which is always deliciously delightful. Um, I just wanted to kill those two guys with those weapons because it looked really cool. Otherwise, but like I said, it's all about clearing the area. And let me find where this wolf is. <whistles> Hello, wolf. Where are you?
Hehe, <laughs> I know where the wolf is. Would you like to know? Well, come on down, follow me. Head to the right here through the little creepy graveyard. Head to the towards the bottom of the screen after we clear the area. And you can see the sword and these breakable platforms. Dash yourself across, dash yourself across, quickly move over and up. And just jump up on these little springy pads and this is where the wolf is. Again, it's one of those potentially tricky, annoying ones that obviously because of the camera angle you might fall off a couple of times. I did the same, so no harm, no, no foul, as long as we get Wolfman in the end. We can simply move on, completely as shit, nope. So with that mission complete, we unlock the frog hat and now we've only got one more wolf to go before we get that achievement as well. Now again, obviously, um, through the uh, majority of the later levels, I haven't been speaking much because there's, there's not a lot to say apart from where the wolf is and that's about it. You know, it's it, as long as you're following on screen or you have been, I assume you have been because you've got to this point so far. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, it's not really a lot to say, is it? You you don't want me babbling. I promise. I do my own head in sometimes, so, you know. Here we go, third fight. Now, we don't have to clear the air. Well, you can, but I just found it more fun to destroy everyone with a minigun. Because nothing makes you feel more like a man in Viking times, I assume Viking times, than mini getting people to death. Ah, slaughter, because you can't spell slaughter without laughter. And we are having, we've been having a fantastic time clearing every area, don't we? Haven't we, kids? We've been having a wonderful time killing everybody today. Um, now, for some reason, I'm struggling. What you're supposed to do is just use these springs below to uh, help you up. Uh, but for, And give yourself a little dash as well if you are struggling. Otherwise... There you go, a little bit of an edit cut there, you could probably tell because I lost my weapon. Uh, but for some reason I was really struggling on those bits. Um, again, nothing to, as long as we've cleared the area, there is nothing in our way, nothing that's going to stop us. Apart from AIDS. Okay, okay, here it is, people. Don't get giddy, but we are coming up to the final wolf. Finally. So jump down here, and you're going to see the black bomb Pac-Man thing on the left-hand side here. Pick it up, jump, press the X button, press the X button, X, and you should be able to jump up onto the cliff, revealing the final wolf, and... Well, was what I've been thinking is, how the hell have all the wolves managed to get up all these cliffs anyway? Who the hell put you up there? I will kill them by clearing the area. Because I'm not going to kill them legitimately. Oh, God, no. 
Ain't gonna anybody got time for that? Oof. Hello, Mr. Roidhead. Um, if you'd like to die, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Okay, I feel like we're gonna need some dramatic music now. I don't know what kind of dramatic crap that was, but that was crap. We have made it. Act 3 ending in around an hour and a half. Um, obviously, now, there's gonna be three different portions to this boss fight. Now, again, if you're doing this legitimately, the checkpoints are, you know, the checkpoints have been very good to us in this game, to be fair. Oh, wait, no, it hasn't, because it knobs, knobs us back at the beginning of every area. Which, if it's a big area, it's freaking annoying. Still, <laughs> still, checkpoints are not too bad. And it goes the same with this. So, if you're doing it legit, obviously, if you beat the first one, I'm pretty sure, say, if you die on the second phase of the boss fight, you will restart from the second... Oh, excuse me, from the second phase. Mrs... Bird face is probably because you got a pink fat nose. There's nothing wrong with a pink fat nose. So what we meant to do then, dodge the arrows and you're going to see like a little pile of leaves start to swarm towards you. As soon as they do, press the X button to attack like now. There you go. It was just like a little tornado swarm of leaves. So be on the lookout and as soon as you see those leaves, head in that direction and give them a stabby stab stab. And right now... There it goes then, so leaves are coming in your general direction. She's always going to attack you anyway. Um, so obviously just, again, be on the lookout. Now, of course, we are in, in invincible mode, so the arrows won't hurt us, but I thought, hmm, I wonder how I wonder how hard it could be if I tried dodging them. And I would die a lot. <laughs> there we go then. So, here's the first phase done. I would die a lot. I thought I was just really good. Turns out I'm a piece of crap at this. Thank God for cheats. So into the next bit then. Grab the axe. Now what you have to do is listen out for the crow noise. And look out for a tree that has all the leaves around it. And basically just chop that tree down. Like this one here. So that's all you got to do for this bit then. So listen out for the crow noise. And then as soon as you see the, the crow with all tree leaves around it. Give it a swipe. And we're going to be doing this another two times. And that is this second phase done. Seemingly uh, not taking my own advice and getting lost myself. Follow the crow's noise, follow the crow's noise, there we go. <laughs> follow the crow's noise, cut down the tree, give her a slice. Uh, for some reason, getting lost was uh, the preferred thing to do there. Which, you can't really get lost, but I managed it, so <laughs> hope you don't do as bad as me there. So we've got one more left to do now, and for this bit... What you're supposed to do is just grab the axe. There was an axe right at the beginning of the gate we just came through, which I completely missed. So, apologies about that. Instead, I go through all the way around the map, wondering what the hell's going on until I go, there, there is the axe. And then what we can do now, basically, we can just stand still. What you're supposed to do is dodge her until the leaves turn red, and then we're supposed to attack. Like that. So, when the leaves are light, you're supposed to dodge. As soon as the leaves turn red, then we are supposed to attack now. Uh, so, thankfully, this bit is a bit just easier. Wow! Sorry, you sounded like he was going to start going to sing in Mambo number 5. Oh, punched her in the nose. Mambo number 5! 
And there we go then. So that is the game complete. Thankfully, that was awesome. Uh, yeah, the game. Generally, really enjoyed this with or without cheats. It was fascinating and it was really, really good. Obviously, if this whole game was without cheats, uh, the video would be particularly longer than um, almost two hours. But there we go then, guys and girls. So that is Act 3 complete. We've got to just complete the epilogue very quickly. Um, but it shouldn't take too long. It's a little bit of walking. And then we go back into the old camp boss. This is where we should unlock all of the hats as well. Now, if you've been doing the exact same thing as I've been doing in the game, you will unlock uh, all the achievements we've just unlocked here. So that's a complete Act 3. Getting the Coral Hat and unlocking all the hats. So for now... Take a little walk to the right and breathe in the death snow. Snow, snow. Snow, snow. I am genuinely cold just looking at Sag right here. But we come back to the very beginning. Now, this is a twist look. So, we are basically just um, killing and butchering a lot of uh, innocent civilians right here. And if you remember, at the very beginning of the game, we ran through the same path where all of the uh, civilians were killed. So, was it us? Were we the Black Wolf all the time? We were looking for ourselves. We've just been through all that. Just to uh, look for ourselves, seemingly so. Um, you can either butcher all the innocents or you can kill them humanely by clearing the area, <laughs> which would have made, made which would have made uh, that one Call of Duty mission in the airport a lot easier, wouldn't it? Just clear the area instead of actually using your gun. I, I mean, you still killed a lot of kids, so and women and men, so it doesn't make a difference. But it would have been a lot less inhumane. So. You remember this bit at the very beginning of the game, the blood beasts appear, they shoot you dead, but of course there's one missing. Hmm. So we've got bison, crow, and um, fat man, or man bear pig there. I mean, does it... I mean, we are... What? God damn it, you sons of bitches! Why? Why do games do this? This is, one my, this is my biggest pet hate. My biggest pet peeve is going through an entire game and you just die at the end anyway. Flech! Frustratio equals pissed off you. But, you know, it's all good because uh, he comes back to life in the campsite now anyway. Look, there he is. Oh, like nothing happened. So, 
Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum. We are now going to go for the 1 million points and there's a couple of things that we need to do for the 1 million points. First up, we need to be turning the cheats off. So if you've been following the guide to fight, you'd only have 4 achievements left. The 3 weapon kills, uh, carrot, fish and fire and the get to 1 million points. So, we can do, use the stall on the right and go all the way to... Act 1, level 1, the very first one with four areas, genuinely, I promise you, that is the easiest one we can do. Make sure as well that you've got the deer hat on. Very, very make sure that you've got the deer hat on. Uh, let me just show you. This one, like I said earlier, I did say it earlier in the game, um, there's, there's loads of different ones, but the double jump just makes this a lot easier. So instead of going around places, we can just jump straight up, kill enemies, what you like, and then it's good to go. So we need to be turning the cheats off, because that actually decreases your score by 10%. And um, there are four things we uh, need to do to get to the million, and that is get a max combo... Time, mobility, and weapon. Now, for this one, you'll, we are going to be wanting to complete this as quickly as possible. So, as far as weapon variety goes, it doesn't matter too much. Pick up sort of as many as you can, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, mobility and combo will come um, as long as you keep getting the speed. But And also, another big, big thing, we cannot die. At all, we cannot die. So turn the invincibility mode off, we can't clear the area, and we cannot die. So all we need to do is literally just complete this as quickly as we, we can. So it's just pick up a weapon, kill the guy, pick up a weapon, kill the next guy. Again, the time stops when you, until you get to the next area, so just pick up literally any weapon. Even if you don't have a weapon, um, you can literally just use your fist. But I use the barrels here um, just for time. It just made it a lot easier. Barrel again. Barrel these three guys. Jump on the wheelbarrow to kill these two. And then punch this guy. Jump up. Punch this guy. And then use a log if you want to kill that guy. Axe. Axe. Jump over. Make sure to grab the second axe there so you can kill the two guys very quickly. And punch this guy's squat and the nostrils. So again, this double jump uh, just comes in handy <laughs> because we don't have to go around as much. So, kill this guy, pick up the axe, jump on the wheelbarrow, grab the sword, kill this guy and that guy, and then double jump up. Grab the next sword, and then just double jump up again. Slice, grab the barrel, or the axe. I did actually try going for the axe, but you can go for the axe now. Kill that guy, kill that guy, and then that is what should get us the million points. It's the time of what we are needing. I was actually... 2,000 points short because I didn't get enough time, but as you can see there, when when you'll do it quick enough, and you will get the max combo, and you will get the mobility, uh, as long as you do it quick enough. Variety, I literally only got, I didn't even get 40,000 points for that one, but the time bonus is the most important thing there. So don't worry about having to pick up completely every single different weapon, as long as you do it nice and fast, picking up a, obviously a couple of different weapons along the way, then that is... 1 million points should be fine. It l literally took me about 10 minutes um, because obviously I kept dying very stupidly at certain points as well. Um, so don't get frustrated. If you do get frustrated, take a breather and come back to it later. But but genuinely, when you uh, practice that level, because it is the easiest level, when, when you practice it, it does become a piece of piss. And like I said, it took me around 8 or 9 attempts. Um, but literally all in 10 minutes so hopefully you guys and gals should be getting that tidily as well so next thing we can do now we're going to go for the final three uh weapon related achievements so turn on your invincibility and make sure then we're going to go through the whole level and we're just basically going to kill everyone with carrots now it's completely up to you, you can either go through the whole level because there are obviously a lot of enemies there are about 20 to 25 enemies i think overall um, and there's a little carrot patch just on the right here. Or what you can do is just kill the, th the first three guys in the first area, restart the area, and just keep killing the first three guys if you want to. Completely up to you. Uh, but I decided to, to run through the whole level to get 20 plus carrot kills. Um, so I'll obviously be showing you the whole level first. It took me... Uh, it took me two full attempts of this level, plus... Um, half a one as well to get the remaining carrot achievements. Now, of course, if you have been killing people with carrots on the way, you'll obviously get it in less time than me. If not, you'll get it about the same time. So about two full playthroughs of these levels. 
which should only take roughly around 10 minutes. So they're not too shabby at all, especially this level, since you should know your way around it by now. You should know a way around it like a like a hot piece of bacon ass. Bacon ass? So carrots are actually quite a bit sparse in this area. Um, I think there's only two or three, something like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it can be. It's completely up to you whether you just kill the first three guys and keep restarting the area that way, because obviously that you know you get quick kills that way. Um, otherwise, oh, <laughs> what a stupid douchebag! Can't believe I just did that. Uh, yeah. So as I said, it's completely up to you. It's probably really worth. As soon as you get to the third area, it's probably worth then just um, restarting the level. Obviously, all the kills count, so you don't actually have to finish the level, which is all good. Um, but because there's not a lot of carrots in this level, just restart it from the uh, last area that we were in. <laughs> So, you might be wondering where the hell uh, does it unlock, and we're actually going to unlock it in the third area right here. As you can see, I just knobbed up someone's knob there with a nice carrot. Replaced his wiener with a carrot. So, a couple of these carrot kills should unlock right now. 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 See, I told you I wasn't too far off. I was only two nows off. So there we go then, so again, that roughly took me about 10 minutes to do, um, two full playthroughs of the same level and that sort of half one till we get to the third area. Next up, we are going to be wanting to kill 100 enemies with some fish. Ha, fish! And to do that we need to go to Act 1, Level 5, Catch of the Day. Uh, there's Man Bear Pig looking extremely happy. That was before we knocked his house down. That's before we slept with his girlfriend. And, oh, whoop. <laughs> I'm sorry, man by pig. You didn't know that, did you? Oh, Sag waits for no man. He is all man. So, again, of course, we need to be <laughs> making sure that invincible mode is on. And we need to be going down, not up. I don't know what I was attempting there, but, you know. So, we're just going to show you the first bit then, just to get to the point that we need. Uh, we don't have to keep restarting the level. There's basically one area. There's about 20 or 21 enemies and a lot of fish. So we can just get to that area, restart, keep restarting that area. And obviously if you haven't killed many people with fish, you'll just have to do that area around five times. So, jump on the old cannonball. Go cannonball. Oh cannonball, I almost messed up big time. Head down, clear, clear area. I almost had a good clear area for a while. Clear area. And there are a couple of fish in this area if you did want to kill a couple of uh, enemies as well. Um, son, you're going the wrong way, brother. <laughs> yeah, you're going the wrong way, mate. Okay, there we go. So it is the area after this one. Um, of course, you probably wouldn't remember it from earlier on because... We obviously just went straight through, cleared the area and went straight through. So jump in the wheelbarrow, and this is the area then with a load of fish. So we can jump to the right. I'm not sure if this big fish actually counts, or if it's the small fish that we stick over their heads. What a way to die, huh? Again, as long as invincible mode's on, just... If you pick up any other item, just drop it again with B, of course. And then pick up, there's some fish right here. Obviously using the X button to attack, that'll stick it on their heads. 
Um, there's a load of fish as well on the floor, and we've got a bunch of stalls as well, so we are never running out of fish. Oh, man, that is a smelly way to go. So we've got another little fish stall right here. Fish on the floor. So uh, whack it on this guy's head. And basically, it's in the middle of this area. As you can see, there's three fish stalls there. So you got you, you're looking at about 40 to 50 fish, fish dicks. Hey man, I'm a lyrical genius. Do you like fish? Do you like fish sticks? So you like to put fish sticks in your mouth. What are you, gay fish? <laughs> the best joke of all time, written by Trey Parker and Matt Stone from South Park. So, yeah, like I said, just, again, it's a small area. As long as you've got a fish in hand, you should be good to go. Uh, if you can't find one enemy, it'll tell you on screen one enemy remaining and point to you to where it is. And there we go. So that is... <laughs> well, my God, that's that guy done. So when you're done with that, then just restart the area and then we can just carry on. Somehow I've managed to get things on fire, <laughs> which has burnt a couple of enemies, which of course helps towards our 500 setting enemies on fire. Otherwise, you can just get... Uh, well, there we go. We can just get a whole bunch of fish. Again, you may be replaying that Roughly around four, five, maybe six times, depending on if the stupid enemies died another way. Otherwise, we have got just one achievement left to get. I actually like to show you how to get all of the achievements, see? Because, you know, I'm just nice like that. Uh, let's go then. Like I said, mainly 2-2 two, two or 2-3 two, will be the best one to go for. I go for 2-2, two, two, and it's mainly because if you remember those big matches, slash torches, slash whatever the hell they are, and there's roughly, again, about sort of 20 enemies that we can destroy very quickly, so it, it takes a bit of time. Um, but, of course, you can still kill a lot of enemies on the way with fireworks, etc. Um, now... It didn't take me all that long to unlock it, to be honest. I think through a lot of the game, enemies put themselves on fire, and I assume that counted. Um, whether clearing the area counted as well, did it put them on fire? God knows. But, uh, yeah, so I didn't have to wait that long. Around, again, it was around 10 to 15 minutes or so, so it, again, it is not too bad at all. But for the next couple of areas, we're just going to go ahead and clear area. And here we go then. Well, almost here we go. As soon as we clear area. Uh, the next area is the one with all the matches and torches and things. So there's a couple of good grinding spots. A lot of good ones on the next level as well. 
Um, but we've got a couple of enemies here that we can kill. So there's six in this area. There's eight right here as well with plenty of matches to go around. Uh, so don't worry if you, you shouldn't ever run out. Then if we just jump up to the next area then we've got a couple more and there is a couple more matches or torches or whatever the hell they are as well. Um, you can, if you want to, you can obviously take it to the next area as well, kill a couple of enemies, but what I, I, I literally just kept on uh, sticking with this same area. There's a, roughly around 15 to 20 enemies that we can kill and again that should take no more than 10 to 15 minutes hopefully. So just keep on doing this until the achievement unlocks and then... Oh, why am I singing the Peppa Pig? That's my... That's my goddamn daughter's fault! So much Peppa Pig! Ugh. So we are still on the same area by the way, apologies about the uh, uh, quick edit there. Um. So we do that. There we go then. So yes. Yes, we did it. So congratulations you guys and girls. Hopefully you uh, I really hope you enjoyed the game. I uh, hope you enjoyed the guide and that the guide was useful as well. I really enjoyed this game. Fantastic first effort there by Paper Cult. Hope to uh, see some more from them in the future. But again, thank you so so much for watching guys and girls. If this video did uh, help uh, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Also, don't forget to check me out on my socials as well. Twitter, Patreon, Facebook, and Instagram. A big, huge shout-out uh, to everyone who visits me on all of those, but especially to those on Patreon who continue to support the channel. I absolutely mega appreciate it, every single one of you. You beautiful bastards. And with that one done then, that is all that's left to say. So... All I got to say is sayonara, thank you very much for watching again, and I shall see you in the next one. Big love, and big up Game Pass!